I am back talking to you because I talked to you all day. And because Julie said I needed to record what I said after. You know how we talk after. I said everything happens for a reason. Talking about those cops and that young black man in Memphis, Tennessee. I don't really know what the reason is. It's awful. We hurt. I hurt. I can't talk about you. I hurt. It's really sad. So I don't know what the reason is. And the reason may never be clear to me. The reason may never be clear. You know, it may be a hundred years before the reason becomes clear. So, I don't, I believe everything happens for a reason. But I don't believe I have to know the reason. I am not necessarily important enough to know the reason but I know there is a reason and okay so that's all I got for you oh and the other thing is I used to have passionate lessons like this mm -hmm. in my classroom mm -hmm. and I would be loud and I would start crying and I would be angry and my kids were wonderful. Mm -hmm. My kids, and they were 15, 16 years old, some were 14, they would listen and they would respect me. And one named Brian Hill, I just thought about his name like a few minutes ago. Brian Hill used to get up and walk in front of me and go behind me and close the door. There was a door in my classroom mm -hmm. behind me. And if that door was open, the other teachers could hear me. And when I became passionate and I was angry and upset, and I started crying, Brian would say, wait, Miss Smith, just wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And I would be quiet and Brian would get up and walk and he would go behind me and he would close the door. He wouldn't say a word, but he would close the door because he was protecting me. Mm. He knew I didn't want the other teachers to hear me be that angry, be that loud. And he knew that I could speak more freely to them if I was not worried about being heard. Being heard. So, Brian Hill... I don't know where you are, but I got to go drink my coffee. Okay, goodbye, guys.